types of motion it is very important to understand different types of motion for study of mechanics of body so let us discuss uh, one by one so first of all we start with uh, number 1 that is translation so when we consider uh, body and uh, that body particularly translate with uh, some delta effect if we say this is a translation of that body with uh, delta translation so let us write down point a and point a so this type of translation that occurs with uh, straight line manner straight line so this type of translation is generally called uh, rectilinear translation now same way here it is a straight line but maybe uh, sometime a body that will move from one point to other point in a curvature form so this we indicate a a and again a second point on that body that is b b so this is a path of that translation of a body so here it is a in a curve path or we can say the in curve line so this is generally known as a curvilinear translation so this both type this is number 1 and number 2 that both the types are known as a translation but due to the straight line motion this is known as a rectilinear translation and due to a curve line motion that is known as a curvilinear translation so in the study of mechanics uh, motion of particles either of a rectilinear translation or a curvilinear translation it is to be referred as a linear motion or uh, in the curvilinear translation that is referred as a curvilinear motion of a body if we go further and take a second type of a motion so that is a rotation now in rotation when we call the rotational moment or the rotational motion of a body so in this case a particle of a body move about a point so if this we take a point and uh, with the same amount of uh, radius the particle this is a particle that will move about this center point o in this circular path so all the particle all the particle of a whole body that will move in a 
concentric circle so this type of motion that we generally observe or generally describe as a rotational motion so in that also we have a two type of a basic part so one is a centroidal rotation and uh, second one is a uh, non centroidal rotation so this is a point where the body is completely moving around that uh, center point with some specific radius so that type of uh, body is known as a centroidal rotation and uh, if that is not available that is moving with some case so we uh, give here a example of a pulley so this is a pulley and that will rotate with some speed about a one point and all the particle of that pulley that will rotate with some amount of fixed radius about this origin so that is called a centroidal rotation and if we take an example of a pendulum so in pendulum this is a fixed point but that will not provide this will move but in this direction as well as in this direction but it will not provide a complete revolution with some fixed radius so that is called a non centroidal rotation now if we go further with a third type of motion that is generally known as general plane motion now it is not a new thing but uh, it is basically a combination of so it is a combination of let us say number 1 and number 2 so that is translation and rotation if we combine both first one as well as the second one so that will known as a general plane motion so in this case if we took a example of uh, any vehicle so the wheel of the car generally let us took uh, one car and that car having some motion with a particular velocity in particular direction so let us say this car is rotated or that will translated in this direction and this is nothing but a center of the wheel here here also now what happen actually when this car will move ahead so at that time the wheel of that particular vehicle that will move in this direction as well as the particle that will rotate in this direction so one thing is the translation that is our number 1 and this is our number 2 so this is the combination of two that is known as a general plane motion now the example if we find out that so vehicle is one of them and also slipping of a ladder from its position so if we draw a ladder and by uh, chance it would be slip from the its original position so it has some fixed origin so from that it will be 
rotate at some position and that will also translate so the particle of that ladder that will affect it with both type of uh, combined motion so it is also an example of a general plane motion now in about discussed uh, motions it can take place either with a zero acceleration if we take an example that motion with a uniform velocity so that is motion with uniform velocity or it can be take placed in case of with a constant acceleration right so uniform velocity is then definitely the acceleration will be the constant or that will be with uh, increasing or with increasing or decreasing values of velocities linearly can take place uh, with a variable acceleration so there are many things related to the types of motion but uh, these are the important things the study of uh, translation with rectilinear linear translation and the curvilinear translation and study of uh, centroidal rotation as well as the non centroidal rotational motion and the third one is the general plane motion that is a combination of both translation as well as the rotation with some important points related to the velocity as well as the acceleration so this is important to study in mechanics so this is all about the types of uh, motion